Okay, I have received a collection notice from, I went to the doctor like in February while I'm still in, no, I wasn't. I was out of bankruptcy for the next year. So it was with Baylor, Scott, and White. I made payments, but I didn't make them to the hospital every month. So I guess once they had a time where I didn't do a payment in 30 days because the work I do is sporadic. So they have sent me a collection notice, and my question is, do I answer that or do you all answer that? Is Who, who does that? Yeah, so we, we don't answer collection calls. We're, you know, we're more of an education company, right? Okay, so I just wanted just, to be yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, no, no problem at all. But let's unpack this for a second. So this was a collection after your bankruptcy, right? Yes. Okay, so what I would do for this is I would contact mm -hmm. them immediately. And I'd be like, look, there must be a mistake. If I okay. miss one payment, I'm making all these payments to the hospital, and they're, you know, all of a sudden you're saying I'm in collection, what happened? And then say, I just want to, I would love to pay this, whatever I need to do, but I do not want it impact, impacting my credit. Right. Okay? okay. So this just happened mm -hmm. with me. I just got a collection call, a letter, recently. I'm talking in the last, like, 30 days. I don't remember what it was. But I was like, collection letter, what's this for? Okay? I immediately contacted right. the, the, them, and I just, I just like, took, took ownership. See, what these collection right. companies are used to, they're used to people not taking ownership. They're used right. to people skirting them, right? So if you call mm -hmm. them and you own it and you say, what is this about? I pay all my bills. I was paying the hospital. How is this in collections? Right. And they're going to they're gonna realize you're not scamming them or anything like that. For me in particular, and trying to remember what it was, it was something – I forget now exactly what it was, but bottom line is, it, because I contacted them immediately, they didn't report to the bureaus. Two, it was already it, it, it was it was an oversight. I had paid somewhere else, and they mm -hmm. didn't show my payment. I contacted them. They said, "Well, look into it." I kept their number. I called them back a week later, confirming. Mm -hmm. That my my this is, did not go to collections, and they said yes. We show we show that everything was paid correctly, and we contacted the um, the the company, right? right? And the company the company agreed. Okay, but that's, that's not my case. So then they'll say, well, we just need to make a payment arrangement for you to pay this. Then go ahead and do that or negotiate. Well, what do you think? What do you think they're going to say? I think they're going to say one of those two things, that I need to make a payment arrangement to um, get it paid if I, can, if I can't pay it all. Mm -hmm. And I would say, why was it sent to collections? Why was it sent to collections? And mm -hmm. they're going to say what? Um, they're going to say because you didn't pay the, the bill every month, and they turned and gonna, it over. And I'm, and I'm going to say, how many months did I miss? Okay. And you're going to say what? Or they're going to say what? Uh, you missed, it had to have been one or two months or one month or whatever. And you're going to say, I've never heard of, of a bill being turned over collections because one or two months. I right. got crazy. Okay. So, hey, my credit, uh -huh. and you're going to say, my credit's really important to me. Was mm -hmm. this reported to the bureaus? Has this been reported to the credit com collection company, the credit bureaus? Right. And they're either going to say yes or no. And if they say no, they say, great, thank you. I want to get on a payment plan to pay you in full. And if they say yes, say, hey, I want to I, – th this, this is a breakdown in communication. You know, I want to, I want to know the details. And you're going to send your va our validation letter. Okay, that's what I need to know, the details. If they report yeah. to the credit bureau. Yeah, if they did. And if they did, send the validation letter. And once again, if. Okay. Well, if it hasn't been. I, mm -hmm. 
I thought the rule me, was that you they you. give you a month you you have a month to write and deny or whatever because this was written on August the ninth. So if I reply, I thought the routine was to reply within a month to dispute the actual charge. Well, what I would do is I would get on the phone with them immediately. I wouldn't okay. write, I wouldn't for something like this. I would get on the phone. Uh -huh. with them and get something worked out. You do not want if if you do not to want report. to report it to the bureaus. Okay. 